One of the tools that students really enjoy working with, and yes, some of us do as well, is our globe. Because it's 3D, you can do some different kinds of things with your displays, uh, working with the same kinds of data sets that you had in ArcMap and ArcScene. But it's a very powerful learning tool because of the 3D nature, where you get to do some special kinds of work with some data sets. So here we've turned on the route of Magellan, which we can follow all the way around. And this is an example of the kind of data set that students can create on their own as part of a history project. There are a lot of data sets that uh, are waiting to be constructed and its students can be doing that kind of work in their, in their research and studies. There are a lot of data sets that they can take advantage of already. So here, for instance, I've got the country layer that I was working with inside of ArcMap. And I've gone in and displayed this just as I would have in ArcMap. We're looking at population per square mile. And it's classified in such a way that you can see some variation. And students might this way be able to understand perhaps a little bit better some concepts like density comparing Bangladesh with some of the other uh, nations that are nearby. Well, we can take a look at that as well in terms of the impact on the planet. Here we've got some terrestrial biomes that we're looking at. We might integrate that with uh, population studies and uh, energy consumption patterns and take a look at climate change issues. We might need to keep track of where are the tropics and the subtropics, compare those with what's happening in the polar regions. And we might even be able to see some of that impact by taking a look at this layer of the Earth at night. So there are a lot of data sets that people can be exploring and doing some really serious kinds of study with. So what I'd like to do now is to take a look at this last little capacity. Let's create a little video. We can make our initial capture and then we can come in and zoom in a little closer. Take a second picture and then spin around a little farther, zoom in, and then now let's tip this so that we can see what happens if we take a look at the world in a different fashion and take one last picture. And now let's open it up and play. The animation capacity is in ArcMap, ArcScene, and ArcGlobe, and is a wonderful way for students to get into creating a presentation at the end of their project to share with other people. It's a really nice tool.